This week I'm testing the luxury seven-seater Range Rover Sport. Let's find out how good it is as a baby drive. In the back of the Range Rover Sport there are Isofix in the two outer seats. They're not within plastic guides and they are quite difficult to connect to. On the back of all three second row seat backs are top tether anchorages. They're nice and easy to access through the boot or by bringing the seat backs forward. Now I managed to fit three child seats in here really nice and easily, forward facing and rear facing. Now with rear facing child seat installed, I found about a 170 centimetre passenger could sit in front with about a 162 centimetre passenger in the third row. With forward facing, there's plenty of room for 180 centimetre plus passengers in the front. Now in the third row, there really is not much leg room. There's no top tether anchorages or isofix in the back there, so I couldn't install any seats. And I found I could comfortably sit in the third row. I'm 162 centimetres, but no one really taller than that. In the back of the Range Rover Sport, storage is pretty minimal. In the third row, there's no storage at all for those seats. The door bins are quite small back here. They will just hold a large refillable water bottle, but really I think they're meant for the headphones. There are mat pockets on the back of both front seats. They will hold but not conceal an iPad. There's a fold down in the central seat back with a little covered area that holds the remote control for these great DVD players. And there's two cup holders that will hold a reusable and a disposable coffee cup. In the front, storage is slightly better. There are two cup holders in the central console here. They will hold a reusable and a disposable coffee cup. Behind them is the central console box, which in this model is an Esky, which is fantastic. Great for storing snacks and things in while you're out on day trips. Now, there's two glove boxes in here. The top one's got the DVD player in it, and the bottom one's nice and spacious. I could fit an iPad in there and my wallet with the manual and everything else. Now, the door bins in here, they are too small for a large refillable water bottle, and even a 600 mil falls over. There is a little hidden shelf where I found I could put my phone and the keys, things like that. And there's the little hand wells in all the doors as well. The boot door of the Range Rover Sport opens and closes nice and quietly, which is really good. Also on the right hand side here, you've got controls to raise and lower the height of the suspension, which is really handy for getting things in and out of the boot. Let's find out how much we can fit in the boot. When using all seven seats, five shopping bags will fit or a compact stroller and three shopping bags. When using only five seats, 15 shopping bags will fit, or a twin side-by-side -side stroller and five shopping bags, a tandem stroller and seven shopping bags, single stroller and eight shopping bags, or a compact stroller and 10 shopping bags, or a large dog. The Range Rover Sport is a lovely car to drive. It's very luxurious. The interior is gorgeous. It's very smooth. It's very quiet. The only considerations are its size. Obviously, school car parks, supermarket car parks, they get a little bit trickier with a vehicle this size. Now, there's some great features in here too. There's a child lock for windows and doors just on the window here. Also, another button to raise and lower the suspension height, which is great for when you're getting in and out, makes it nice and easy. There's also a lock on those rear doors. Automatically, it won't let kids open them into bikes going past or oncoming traffic, which is great. There's also a seatbelt removal visual in the screen in front of your steering wheel here. Lets you know if any of those rear passengers take their seatbelts off. The media system in the Range Rover Sport is really lovely and easy to use and navigate. You can control those rear DVD screens really easily just from the screen here. Now it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is fantastic. And when I put it into reverse, the camera image is lovely and crisp and clear. You do have front cameras as well as rear, and you can mute the parking sensor sound easily from the screen here. 
So to sum up with the Range Rover Sport, it's not that practical as a family car for seven. Just the legroom in the third row and access is quite tricky. However, three child seats fit really nicely in the second row of seats. Media system is fantastic and it's a lovely car to drive. Read the full reviews at babydrive.com.au